Good morning. Welcome to our morning devotion. Glad you are tuned to the morning encounter. It is our prayer that you will encounter with God through this broadcast. And now, let's welcome the servant of God. Good morning, viewers, and praise the Lord once again. It's beautiful to be with you this particular day to share the word of God with you just briefly. And I want to read from the book of uh, Micah. But if you get time, you can read the whole of book of Micah, chapter 6. Um, but I'll read verse 3 to about verse 4. The Bible says, My people, what have I done to you? How have I burdened you? Answer me. I brought you out of Egypt and redeemed you from the land of slavery. I sent Moses to lead you. Also Aaron and Miriam, my people remember what Bala king of Moab plotted and what Balaam of son of uh, Beor answered. Remember your journey from Shittim to Gilgad that you may know the acts of the Lord. I want to share with you about the pardon of being privileged. You know, when you are privileged, it's not easy. I know many of you look at some children from the family of royal family, and I want you to think of any royal family. And you think about these children, how they live, how they walk. There's some expectation even to the side, even in the children of pastor and elder. I remember when a child of a pastor does a mistake, for example, find them maybe they, are, they have done a mistake of uh, they are found in a party or they in the drugs. The society thinks a child of a pastor, okay? The weight of being privileged, the burden of being privileged. And so God had chosen the Israelites. They were royal people. And they were to walk at the talk of God. And you know, these people did not meet the expectation of God. Let me tell you, when you are privileged, greater expectations are expected from you. All that you do, the cameras are on you. Some of you, even if you would meet a, a daughter of the president, you would take a selfie and you would keep that in a place that you would check forever. Some of you, I know, when you just find only your hand with the president, only the hand, you can keep that photo forever. The burden of being privileged. And the people that are privileged sometimes, you realize they don't just walk anyhow. They check where they do. We are privileged people. Either they were privileged people. They did not meet the expectations of God. And so in this particular passage of Micah, we see Micah speaking, uh, God is annoyed with these people. They have not walked the way God expected them. And so, so I want to share with you the burden of being privileged. By privilege and by God's mercy, that's how, sorry, that's how Paul puts it. Paul writing some, many of his episodes, epistles, he look at First Timothy, look at, he says, Paul, I, Paul, the servant of God, by the mercies of God. So he is going down and trying to plead that God would walk with him. He knew that this was a privileged position. For many of us who are um, bishops, many of us who are in the high position of leadership, you are there by the masses of God. And the expectations are so huge. They are not like when people think it's a luxurious position or something that you can go around and brag about. Let me tell you, you can face actually the greatest wrath from the organization. When things go wrong, you will not go for that particular sweeper. We will come for you. We will come for you. We will come for that leader. We will come for the bishop. Where is the prophetic voice of the church in this matter? That's why people have been asking the danger, the weight of being privileged. Some of us are fast boys. And by grace, people expect a lot from you. People will not even ask whether you worked and earned and how was your budget. They would want just to imagine that you have them. And they ask knowing that you are able to do. You are a husband leading the family. There is a burden and a weight of being privileged to be in that position. As many people have argued and thought that maybe ladies are co-equal. Let me tell you, where people obey that hierarchy and you see yourself on the high position, there's a greater weight of expectation. God is expecting much from you by virtue that you are a child of God. God expects you not to walk in any corner and do anyhow things. God is expecting you as a person that is leading an organization to be able to meet that qualification. You are a person that leads worship. God has expectation for you. You are a person that leading prayer. There are expectations that you attend all prayer meetings. There are expectations that you pray and answers will come. Let me tell you, there is a weight of us being privileged. And all position that we hold in God's eye is by privilege that he has given us. 
but I ask some of us to be pastors, for some of us to be whatever that you do, it is a privilege from God. And let me tell you, do not abuse the privilege that God has appointed you and ordained you for a role to do. You are whatever you are for a reason. And God wants you to match his expectation, to match his purpose. May you seek to know that purpose so that you do not come at a place where he's speaking wrath and is reminding you how he took you from uh, all those meanders and the places that could have otherwise swallowed you up. May God remind you that you met the expectations of him and his works and his word. Let's pray. Father, we thank you. We thank you this morning. I pray that you help us to be able to do your work, O oh God, in the name of Jesus. The Lord, as we look unto you, as we serve you, O oh God, we may know that it is a privilege to be whatever we are. Every role you have given, particularly as the children of God, you say that we are the soul and the light of the world. May we season the earth. May we light the world. May we do whatever we do, be it husband, be we be CEOs, be it lead pastors, senior pastors, be it bishops, every role that you've given us, that we may be able to shine your light, O oh God, that you may not come and ask us, how comes you didn't do this? May you not come and remind us that we failed on our JDs, O oh God. We thank you for you have given us the terms of reference, and I pray that we appropriate the same for your kingdom and for your works. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. That was the morning encounter. We are glad that you tuned in. Follow us on YouTube at Sidim Eldoret TV. Our Facebook page is Sidim Eldoret. Our Twitter and Instagram handles at Sidim Eldoret. And our website is eldoret.sidim.org. Let's encounter again tomorrow morning, same time, same place.